During this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a three-step opt-in using InstaBuilder 2.0. Now, there are two ways that we can do this. We can use a three-step opt-in template that has been provided to us by InstaBuilder, or we can create our very own three-step opt-in from scratch. And I'm going to be covering both of those options throughout this video. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Here I am on the dashboard of InstaBuilder 2.0, and I'm going to click on New Page. Next, I'm going to go to the squeeze page. And for the subtype, I am going to choose the three-step opt-in. Now I'm going to choose one of the templates that we have here for us. Let that load up. Now, if you do decide to choose a template for your three-step opt-in, just like any other page, we can edit all the information that is on this template. We can change the background. We can change this text here by clicking on the pencil symbol. And of course, we can add more elements to this page if this isn't quite enough. Maybe I want to add an image before the button here so I can do just that. Now, the three-step opt-in is a little different than your two-step opt-in. If we go ahead and click on the button here and we go to the gear symbol and we go to the target link, it should say a URL and then it should have the pound symbol go to step two. All right, so on your templates, this should automatically be set up. And when we create our three-step opt-in from scratch, this should automatically be set up as well. You do not want to change this in any way. You want to keep it just like it is. Now, to actually edit the second step of our three-step opt-in, we want to click on the background here, like the entire box here, and it should highlight, and you should see these little arrows down here. Now, this is how we are going to switch back and forth between the three different steps. Right now we're on step one, so when I click the arrow, it's gonna take us to step two, just like this here. Now on this step, of course, we can add anything we want here. For example, right now we have a video, and perhaps we want them to initiate and take action on the first step, and on the second step, we wanna show them some kind of teaser video, some kind of trailer for our products, or whatever it may be, and then we want them to obviously click our call to action which will in return take them to step three of our three-step opt-in. Now, just like the first step, we can change anything here. I can add, you know, uh, let's say a headline or a title, for example. And of course, we can edit this and center that, make it look all nice and pretty. And now to go ahead and head over to our third step, we're gonna click in the background here again, kind of highlight the whole page. Then we're gonna click the little arrow which takes us to step three, where we have our opt-in form. And once again, we can edit and change anything on this third step. We can change the headline, we can add images, we can change the way this opt-in form looks. And one thing that we do need to do is click on this opt-in form. Then you wanna click on the gear symbol here. And on the right-hand side, the very top option will be opt-in form HTML code. You wanna click on that, and you wanna make sure that you paste the HTML code inside of this box. This is gonna be the code that you received from your autoresponder or your email marketing service provider. This can be Aweber, GetResponse, whichever autoresponder you are using, wanna make sure that you paste your HTML code inside of this box. Once you have that pasted in there and saved, then you can go about editing the look and feel of this website. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and see what it looks like on the front end when we go ahead and preview it we're gonna see what the visitor sees, okay? So they land on your landing page. They're gonna click here to find out more. When they do that, they are going to land on the second step of our three-step opt-in. They're gonna watch this video. Then they're gonna click on, click here to watch the next video. And when they click on that, our opt-in form is gonna slide up for them to opt-in before they can have access to our complete video series. That's pretty cool, right? And that's a very powerful way to increase the quality and the conversion rate of your actual opt-in form, all right? And that's how we do that with a template. And I promise you, it's just that simple creating it from scratch as well. So let's go ahead and head back here and let's actually create one of these from scratch. So I'm gonna exit the editor here. I am then going to go to a new page and I'm gonna create one from scratch. All right, once that loads up, we have our blank canvas here. And all we need to do is over here on the element section, we actually have one that's called the three-step opt-in. So we're gonna click that and drag it over here. And you're gonna see it pre-populates it with a headline and our button. So of course we can change this headline any way we want. We can go ahead and add an image in here, maybe add some text in here, and go ahead and make it look however you want it to look. 
And then when you're ready to edit the second step of your three-step opt-in, just kind of click in the background here until you see these two little arrows. You're gonna click that over there and we're gonna be taken to the step two. Now again, we can add titles, we can add images, we can add more text. Whatever you wanna do for your step two, we can do that. If you're not even using a video, we can click on the next video here, click on the little edit text icon and we can change this to next report, next article, continue, or whatever kind of call to action you wanna use, go ahead and type that there. Then for the third step, you wanna click in the background again, click on the arrow, and then from here, we can edit our actual opt-in form in that page here. Now again, you need to click inside of the opt-in form, click on the gear symbol, and make sure you enter your opt-in form HTML code here that you received from your autoresponder, and that's gonna make sure that this form links up to your autoresponder. Then from here, we can go in and edit the way this actually looks. If I want to remove the first name, for example, I can go into the opt-in form fields. I can go to manage fields. I can take off the first name and hide that. I can change the button here. I can go to the opt-in form button. I can use CSS and customize the way it looks, or I can just use an image. So I'm gonna browse the pre-made images here. You can see that we have all kinds of different images that you can use for your opt-in form. I'm gonna use the sign up now image like that there. I can go ahead and edit this text up here, this headline, make sure it says something that you know relates to what I'm trying to do here and make sure I get them to opt into my form. And that's all there is for your three-step opt-in. You can either use the template that we have for you or you can just click and drag the three-step opt-in element over to you know anywhere on your page, wherever you would like it, and then just simply edit the three steps of your opt-in form. And that's all you have to do to have your very own three-step opt-in form running on your website.